Hey Tom, yep. tell me a little bit about being the president of Lamb Glass. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Is it? Oh yeah, we're developing fishing rods for fishermen, and we're out here early in the morning. We're going to catch some fish. So tell me, one of the things that really impressed me about you is that uh, you wanted to continue your dad's legacy, yeah. and uh, he'd be out here right now crushing it, right? Absolutely. He ran it till he was 70, 87, excuse me, years old, from 1965 till January of 2015. And we're going to keep that going. We are. We're doing it. All right, let's go do it. We're making him proud. Ride the lightning, baby! Ride the lightning! Hey everybody, it's Pete from Comanche Surf Casting. Uh, bass season's right around the corner. Show season got canceled due to the coronavirus, but uh, we're all out here feeling okay. So we wanted to highlight uh, one of Lamb Glass's big projects last year, which was the introduction of the Carbon Surf. The Carbon Surf series is a six rod series uh, that starts at the nine foot light, which goes three eighths to two ounces and works our way all the way up to our big gun, the Canal Series rod, which is a three to eight ounce heavy rod used for big fish in heavy current. All right, so early season bass fishing. Um, we usually start in the rivers and the bays, and the bait's really small. Uh, this is the nine foot three eighths to two ounce. It's probably the best rod that I've used for early season fishing. Uh, super lightweight. It'll throw the whole range of lures that we're looking at. This is a, this is a half ounce paddle tail. Uh, it loads the rod really well. Um, and when you're fishing early season with these light baits, a lot of times you're fishing slow and low and you gotta have the sensitivity. And if you, you take a look, you can see, you can see this loads this rod just fine. And that's just a, that's just a three eighths ounce. And it works its way all the way up to your heavier lures that you might use early in the season, like, oh, like your mag darter. This is an all time favorite. I know, uh, I know Nick loves this one. Uh, but the same thing, light lure, loads the rod just fine, um, and it'll work its way all the way up to the heaviest lure, lures that we use early in the season is your, uh, your larger size SP minnow, and the same thing, you can see, we'll cast them later, but you're not overloading this rod with that, so you can work your way all the way up, three eighths to uh, two ounces, no problem. One of the great things about the Carbon Surf Series rod is if you only fish a little bit during the early season, this is an affordable rod that you can take out and fish. You don't have to worry about going out and spending four or $500 on a high-end rod. This is an affordable option so that you could fish early season. And it's also a great summer rod for fluke, weak fish, snappers. Uh, it's a great backup rod. If you're looking for a little bit heavier of an option, this is the nine foot. This is a half to three ounce. It's a little bit more stout. Um, you'll probably be able to throw some metal lips and some uh, pencil poppers, uh, but you're gonna lose a little bit of the sensitivity that you have with the, the three eighths to, to two ounce. All right, working our way up through the series rod. This is gonna be your bread and butter rod for most of your surf casters. It's a great rod if you're a beginner, uh, trying to break your way into the sport, or you're an advanced surf caster just looking for another rod for your collection. Once again, the price point on these rods are unbelievable. You're looking 180 to $200. This is your 10.6 paired with a two, VS200. You see it balances out absolutely perfect. The rod's super light, and this is rated three this is a three quarter to three ounce rated Carbon Surf 10.6. Now looking here, this is, this is pretty much what every beach fisherman has in his bag. Um, your basic lures, your, your famous uh, A27 diamond jig. Uh, this actually did a lot of damage last year with the sand eels around. Weighs about an ounce and a half, two ounces. Obviously load this rod perfectly. 
Uh, you can work your way all the way up. This rod's perfect for bucktails, your medium-sized metal lips. This is uh, a Voorhees Junior. Um, once again, it does not overload this rod. So you're not worried about breaking this rod, throwing a whole assortment of lures. And that's what's really important is that you could run through a whole range of lures, three quarters to three ounces. Now, a lot of rods out there, uh, ratings are misleading, saying they could throw lighter than they can or heavier. This rod throws three quarters to three, no problem. North bar. Same thing. Perfect. That lot, you're not going to overload this rod. And then, of course, we have staple of every surf fisherman, your bottles, your darters, your uh, little neck swimmer, your popper, and even as light as your SP minnow, this rod will load and throw it. One of the other features that makes this such a phenomenal rod, it's a three-quarter split as all the Carbon Surf Series are. All the Carbon Surf Series rods are three-quarter split with a really deep ferrule. The deep ferrule enables you to really put, put a lot of power into the rod when you're casting and fighting a fish and not worry about breaking the rod. And the three-quarter split for those of you that live in apartments like me or have a smaller car is uh, really convenient because you can just break the rod down and it fits pretty much about everywhere. This honestly is probably the perfect rod for anybody looking to get into the sport. You're not spending a ton of money and you're getting a quality rod that's lightweight and durable. Hey guys, uh, I'm Nick with Comanche Surfcasting. Uh, I'm just gonna go over uh, this, this rod in particular. It's the 11 foot, one to five ounce, medium heavy. Uh, I fished this rod last year. I was throwing them to the sharks. Um, my biggest thing when I'm, when I'm when I'm using a rod, I, I need something that I could absolutely beat the hell out of. Um, this is the rod to do it. If, you, if you're looking for great distance, um, good sensitivity. I was, throwing, I was throwing this pencil, this North Bar pencil, probably 125 yards into the surf, no problem. Uh, the, the fish range was probably 125, 150 pounds. Uh, the price point for these rods are uh, around 200 bucks. Um, it's definitely the best bang for your buck. We all know that a lot of our big fish have been coming out of the Cape Cod Canal and the area around there for the last couple of years. So with more and, pe more, and more people traveling to the Cape Cod Canal to fish, Lamb Glass came out with this rod. It's the 3 to 8 Canal Series 11 foot. It's a fast action, heavy rod. We've been exclusively testing this rod down in Florida for the last two years on really big fish. We're talking tarpon in the 200 pound class and uh, huge black tip sharks and we couldn't be happier. Um, you're able to stop these, these big fish heading towards structure. You're able to hold them in current. Uh, everything you need for the Cape Cod Canal except the price point is $200. So if you're only taking one trip up to the canal and you're worried if your rod's going to handle it or not, well you don't have to worry anymore. You can pick up one of these and I guarantee you you'll have absolutely no problems. Uh, the other great part about this rod is if you like throwing chunks or bait, it's rated up to 8 ounces and you probably could throw a lot more than that. Uh, you could run right through the ratings, you'll have no problem throwing big deep diving metal lips. This is the classic rod breaker and uh, one of my favorite lures and I've caught some of my biggest fish on. It's a fast sinking stick shad and uh, we fished this exclusively down in Florida on this rod and had absolutely no problems and in Mexico. Um, and of course, your, your five and six ounce Savage Jigs loads this rod perfectly uh, and still has a sensitivity of the tip while you're jigging to know what's going on. Uh, this is the ultimate Cape Cod Canal rod if you use it as your primary or if you just want to have it as a backup. Uh, the other thing that really impresses me about this rod is uh, when I fished the Cape Cod Canal, since I only fish it a couple times a year, I only carry one rod with me when I'm there, and this does it all. You could throw pencil poppers half a mile, uh, and you could work the side of the canal with magic swimmers and uh, not have any problem at all. 
So I want to introduce our friend uh, Chris Voorhees. He's a plug builder and is well known for uh, uh, the big wood plugs that he makes. I want him to talk to you a little bit about what he looks for in a rod to uh, work metal lips. And well, here's Chris. Hey guys, this is uh, Chris Voorhees of Voorhees Customs. Um, just talk about the, this uh, three to eight carbon surf. I really like this rod. Um, a lot of things I like about it. Uh, I, as you guys know, I throw a lot of big metal lips, heavy stuff. Um, and I start big just even from the beginning start of spring because the areas I fish, some of the first bait around are bunker. So uh, if the bunker are around, usually those, those bass will be on them. So I start off right away with the, the big stuff. And this rod, while it was uh, it's a three to eight, while it was intended for the canal, um, I, I don't fish the canal, but I, I like this rod for my local waters. Um, the first thing I like is I, I like that it's a 70-30 split. Um, you know, when you're throwing big heavy plugs, a lot of times the 50-50 split rods, you know, they, they fish like a two-piece rod. And, and this 70-30 split, you know, it, it really fishes like a one-piece. Um, you don't know that you're fishing a two-piece rod. Um, and, you know, you're throwing heavy stuff, the ferrule on this, it locks in real good. You don't get any, it's not slipping around, it's not moving, um, and it's really got the power to fight those big fish. Um, you get fish in a rip or you need to turn a fish, um, this is the rod to do it. Uh, you know, it, it's it's at an entry level at $200, but I really don't even feel like this is an entry level rod. This is, you know, if, if you didn't tell me the price point of this rod and, and you gave it to me to fish, it fishes just like any of my other uh, high-end rods. So I, I really like it. Um, it's got an, a modern guide layout on it. Um, and like I said, it, it, it really casts these, these, these big metal lifts nicely. You know, Typically, when you when you throw in big metal lips, you want a uh, you know kind of like in, in the GSB series, they, you know, a little bit more of a moderate rod. Um, I feel like this rod's got a nice balance between the two. It's a fast action, but it's a moderate fast action. Um, so it's got the power in the butt, um, and it's still you don't have to lob the lure. Uh, I, I don't lob my lures. You know, I, I got a cast. Sometimes you got to hit a rip, uh, and you don't want to sit there and you know and, and taking these wimpy little casts. And you can really lay into this. And, and we did so even in, in, down in Florida. You know, catching these big sharks. Um, you know, bombing out pencils out there. And uh, this this rod, no problem at all. It really recovers nice too. You know, that's why I don't like the uh, the more really moderate rods because when you cast, you know, you kind of get that kickback. Um, and that's when you start getting elbow and wrist pain. And this rod recovers really fast, um, really nice. Um, like I said, you know, I can really lay into a cast when, even when I'm fishing like the big rubber shads that I like to fish, stick shads. Um, some of the metal lips that I'm throwing are up to six ounces. Um, and uh, this rod really handles them nicely. And like I said, it, it handles the fish nicely. It's got a lot of power in it. Lemon Glass engineered the Carbon Surf Series to have you covered all year round. You got your nine foot, your 10 foot, your 11 foot. You could have all three rods from the back bays, your open beaches to the canal for less than $600 and you're covered by Lamaglass's five year warranty.